As a way of celebrating Arrow's Season 3 premiere, I thought I'd discuss one of my other favorite Green Arrow props that I have in my possession currently, and that's the Smallville version of the bow. Now previously I talked about my build for my Season 1 Arrow bow, and it's pretty cool, so a lot of intricate details, you take a base bow, you do a whole bunch of work to it. Be sure to check the end of this video for a link to it if you haven't seen it yet, but it has a lot of work to it as well, which is a little bit different than the Smallville bow. Now Green Arrow had its very first live action appearance on Smallville in Season 6 in the episode Sneeze. Now they went for a very different look for Green Arrow. He was new, he had been uh, new to us obviously, but also he'd been doing the vigilante thing for a lot longer than the main hero uh, being Clark to be Superman. So we had a, like a, a, a a seasoned Green Arrow comparatively to the Arrow that we see currently which is more of a, a Batman Begins style thing brand new and doing everything fresh. Now one way the producers wanted to show Green Arrow has been doing this for a while so he had a very a developed suit and armaments for his character. Things like the voice changer and the special mask and the sunglasses as well as the bow. Now the bow itself was a compound bow rather than a recurve bow and that was I think to show more of a technical techie side of the bow as opposed to just a, a simple recurve. Using the look that they went for I don't think a, a recurve would have really done what they wanted to show of this futuristic vigilante look that they really really wanted. Now the PSE Mojo bow is a very different bow than any kind of recurve or even some of the compound bows today. It's got a holster to give it that very light tech feel as well as a few other bells and whistles to it that is really interesting that they really wanted to use to show off Green Arrow in Smallville. One of the biggest changes they made to the main bow was that they changed the cable guard. This is a Windstalker cable guard and its idea was to uh, make the cable sounds a lot si more silent. There were some varying degrees of whether that worked or not. In fact the company is out of business and you can only find these are very very rare now but it looks cool. And I think that was really the look they're going for. It's got some holes put through the arms of it. It doesn't look standard. They also outfitted it with a, a standard whisker biscuit for holding the arrows, and then a very cool um, sight with an LED light, which my battery power is dead on mine, but to give that finished look to it. Now, there was a few things they did right away, was that they took the limbs and they did chrome them. Mine was just painted silver. Uh, in order to make it, uh, the, the logos were all over here for one, but also just to give that, again, that futuristic look. I think that's the whole thing they really wanted to go with, is give a really futuristic look. Now, one thing they did do to their bow that I didn't do to mine was that in order to add an elastic, which I did do, um, it is a prop bow at this point, so it's just, a, just an elastic cord uh, for multiple shoes and not having to actually pull back the, the weight, was that they actually drilled into the limbs to hold the cams to be a very specific direction. But they didn't do that, and they left. And they let let them out very, very flat, which I've done with mine as well. I'm not very familiar with compound bows as much as I should be, probably, but it really gives an idea of how they really looked at this bow. Now, finding all these parts were really, really hard and really, really interesting because I learned a lot actually while doing this. I, uh, multiple 3D mojos were made. They had this first version, which did have a very specific way to hold on the limbs, which they later upgraded. In fact, suggested that if you had this bow, you'd want to upgrade to the newer pocket limbs. Um, they also have very few designs of how, how this was changed here. There was a, a pro version that came out later. There were some that had a round cam at the top and then the, the regular one at the bottom. This is a dual special NRG dual cam system that they have on this one. And again, they went with this complete look. They likely went and were suggested a specific bow to use, and this is the one they went with. The last piece on here that I want to bring up is this piece right here, which took me a while to figure out what it was. I ended up going to some archery forums to ask questions, and it is a uh, quick release. So if you have a stabilizer, a stabilizer which would usually offset the weight of the bow as you're drawing it, um, would allow you to pop it on, pop it off really quickly. So it's actually called a quick, uh, quick release. Uh, all these links of some of the idea of the items I will be posting in the description below so if you have the hankering to try and find one yourself or to build one yourself you can do that but it's a really fun piece uh, finding all the pieces was a lot of a lot of detective work finding an actual green bow and not a uh, silver or red or orange they come in pretty much every color of the rainbow so it's a lot of fun sharing this with you I love Green Arrow I love I love pretty much every version of him that's come out from the animated series to the uh, the live action versions they're all great, they're all a lot of fun. But yeah, so if you have any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay you know, in tune of all my other things coming up. I will have some more Green Arrow things to show off as well as some other really exciting props that I've been really looking forward to showing you. Some of them you can see from behind me here. 
And uh, yeah, so be sure to click here though if you want to check out my Green Arrow Season 1 uh, arrow bow, and click here if you want to see one of my other videos. As always, it's been a lot of fun showing this to you, so thanks for watching.